Boys, my name is Jack Guy, and welcome back to Butts and Stuff. We're gonna make some- oh wait. We're gonna make some great games! We're gonna make some awesome games! PC software juggernaut Micronoft has announced today that they will enter the game console market with their very own gaming console called the M-Box! The Xbox is coming out! Except it's called the M-Box in this, but it's the Xbox. The Xbox! The original! Good God, that absolute fucking brick of a console. And it came out and everyone was like, it's so much better than the PS2! And like Halo was on it, and I was all jealous because I couldn't afford a new Xbox, so I was like, no. No, but PlayStation's better. Xbox stupid. And thus began the console war and my own stupid, naive jealousy. Come here, fan. I have a fan at my feet, cooling me off because it's super warm in here. Um, right, so first demonstrations have been impressive. But what will we have- to, but we will have to wait and see if it fares against the popular Dream Vast, as well as against the recently announced and much anticipated Play System 2. The new console is said to debut in the coming months. Play System 2, man! Um, you- I forgot to, um... I forgot to give him, uh, entry training. When he came on, I forgot to do the training for him just as soon as he came in. So, my bad. Also, I need to start making some shit. I have 4.8 million. But I had 5 million when I started the episode. Today the new game platform Play System 2 by Vonnie has been released. Nice. Um, right, I need to make a new game engine. That's what I need to do. Actually, no, let's let's research first. Well, what can we research? Is there anything? Can we research like new engines? Branching story, multi-genre, okay. There's no, there's no new graphic. Oh wait, engine. Multiplayer. Um, I don't think- Oh. I start research on it. I don't think we need it just yet, but this is when multiplayer is starting to come into effect. This generation, PlayStation 2 onwards, was kind of like where people started to dabble in it. And the idea of like hooking up to an internet connection and playing games. Especially like Killzone and stuff. Or wait, was that PS3? The original Killzone! Original Killzone was PS2, right? God! That makes me feel bad that I don't know that now. I'm usually pretty good at this stuff. The launch of the Play System 2 has been a phenomenal success. Stores everywhere are out of stock as manufacturing can barely keep up. Fans have resorted to buying the console on internet auction sites for as much as five times the normal price. The, oh no, it was the PlayStation 3. When the original PlayStation 3 came out, people were- it, that was sold for $600. That's fucking nuts! Funny's managed the most successful launch in history. Sales of Venus Dreamfast have plummeted. Of course they have. Okay, cool. I need to make a new game engine. Actually, you guys can do contract work while I do that. Uh, oh god, no. This. Easy. Easy. Pay me 30k. Nice. Oh, I can't do that while this stuff is going on. Shit. I need to make a new game engine. People were giving me tips before saying I need to make a new game engine or I'm gonna become obsolete and if I make a new game engine, it'll cost more to make the games, but you should be making more money on them because graphics, niceness. Um, also, I'm becoming very irrelevant very fast because I don't even have 3D graphics yet and the PlayStation 2 and the M-Box are already out. Micronoft has announced the delay of their new gaming console, the M-Box. The new release date is later this year. Rumored has it that the incredible little success that the PlayStation 2 launches prompted Micronoft to delay their own debut. Yeah, I remember that. And then it came out afterwards and everyone was like, it's so much better. I was like, no, it's not. Shut up. Create a custom game engine. You are going to have 3D graphics. I do have 3D graphics. Simple cutscenes. Yes, it's gonna cost a lot. Game tutorials, better user- oh, fuck. Better dialogues. I don't need a level editor yet, I don't think. Open world, mono sound, fuck. I might as well do it. Build the absolute best engine I can. Why are you ticked? Should I be taking them all or just one? Does this mean it can do them all? If I pick 3D graphics on its own, will it be really bad? Oh, I don't want to waste money though! What's the game engine going to be called? Um, Oh, uh... The reality engine! Ooh! Oh, I don't know that! Because what I'm reckoning is... If I build one with just 3D graphics, does that mean it can only do 3D graphics? Or is that not how this game works? If I pick all three, does that mean I have a choice of doing whatever the hell I want? I'm just gonna do all three. 470k at 4.7 million. Oh, fuck! God, here we go! Here we go! New engine being made! Everyone, get ready for Butts and Stuff's next game! It's going to blow your tatas off! Just, boom! 
So it's gonna be Tony Rodriguez. Plus, it seems like quite a few players use illegal copies of Dance Dance Revolution. I've managed to identify some of them. We could either sue them to defend our copyright or send them warnings to ask them to stop. What do you want to do? Warn them! I don't want to sue anyone yet. Right away. I don't know. Should I have sued them? Maybe. <laughs> It's all a- it's all a learning! It's all a learning! I'm not a game developer, but I'm finding my way through! Tony, one, and... I can't remember what your fucking name is. Oh! I don't want to go to a game convention yet. No, not this time. Go to- if people are saying go to G3 when you have a game coming out. When I'm starting to make a game, go to G3, try and coincide the two together. I've absolutely no idea how you do that. Do I have to wait for like month five again? And if that happens, then you create a shit ton of hype for your game. That's why it happened last time. But some stuff has recently sent warnings to several players using illegal copies of the game Dance Dance Revolution. Piracy is an increasingly big problem in industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We've gained 185 fans. Yeah! Piracy is one of those things that's hard to fight. People are going to do it anyway, but if you play- if you make an extremely good game, then people are less likely- and if you're just nice, people are less likely to pirate it, because they'll want to support the developers and just ma support those guys. 100k engine. Invest over 100k in a new engine. Nice. New game engine, the reality engine, is now complete. I am ready to make some badass fucking games with this. I have no idea what. I'm going to make a big game, and I'm going to use the reality engine. Nice! What are we making, though? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay! We're going to make an Aliens action game. Do I have Aliens? Do I have- Yes. Aliens for everyone. And it's going to be called- What are we going to call this Aliens action game? We made one already, and we made a sequel to it. What's not that good? But- Oh, what are we going to call this? Um... Abduction. Ooh, doesn't that just tickle you? An Alien action game, and we're going to put it on the play system too. 350 grand to get the license for it. I'm down to 3.7 million, but we're gonna make it back! Wait till you see, and it's on the reality engine. Great combo. Thanks, bro! For everyone? Yes, here we go. 280k to make it. 340k to make it. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of monitors! But this is gonna be good. Oh, I should've went to G3. Fuck. Um, okay, here we go. Engine, very important. Gameplay... Important enough. These things aren't as important for this. Simple cutscenes, yes. Multiplayer, no. Game tutorial is better user experience. Oh, it's gonna fucking bankrupt me. I'm gonna go all out on this and try and see what happens. I'm gonna see if I can make a fantastic game for this shit. Um, you are my design boy. No, you're my tech dude. So tech is engine. I think design would be gameplay. And you're just an overall, so you can go story and quests. Here we go. You gotta balance them out. Some dudes will do more work than others. Ah, oh, fuck, you are not efficient. I should have sent you on vacation. This is Roland Keen from Smash. I got word that Butts and Stuff is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Ah, oh, of course. What do you expect in your regards to hype game? Be modest. I'm gonna be modest this time. Because last time I hyped it and then it didn't do all that well. And then everyone was like, ah, you suck. And I was like, no, I'm a really nice guy! Shit. Tony is not doing all that well. Level design- AI is gonna be important. Level design... Whatever. Tony... Tony, you're at 100%, bro! Okay, Jack, you can do that. Tony, you can do dialogues then, and you can do level design. The design dude would do level design. No level editor. I don't need one. Oh god, I'm down 2 million since the start of the episode already! Oh, you better make me my money back! You're all fired! <laughs> I wouldn't fire these dudes. I love Juan, Juan, and Tony. Ooh, these dudes are not doing well. World design, graphics, yes. Sound, not so much. World design, Juan, you can do the world design. Jack, boy, you do the graphics, can you? Because you have a lot of tech experience. Mono sound, open world. <laughs> I'm not getting great fucking things up here, though. Getting a lot of research. Damn, son! You need to go on vacation fast. I didn't- I should have done that before I started making the game. Damn it all! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No new records, but that's fine. I don't need to be breaking records with every fucking game release. 
Uh, dude, you can go on vacation. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> go off and rest. First reviews are coming in. <sighs> We're doing it, guy. We're doing it. Everyone, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in for a hug. Before we start getting results, we need to hug it out and know that it's- We're not gonna blame each other. If this game does poorly, we're not gonna start turning on each other. We're all gonna do well. We're all gonna do it. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, there we go. Yes. Five. Not that good. Not that good. Oh, a five. Oh, a five! Quirky, but good. You're all fired! <laughs> God damn it, anyway! Generate game report. 5.25. I mean, it was our first time trying to do a 3D graphics engine game on a very new system. It costs us, it costs us half a million to make. What are we even doing with ourselves? Dude, it's fucking selling like hotcakes! Holy banana balls! Making my money back in no time! Ha <laughs> ha! Our post analysis of game is World design seems to be not very important for this type of game. Did I focus on world design? Can't remember what I focused on. Platform, genre, match. Action and PlayStation 2 go great. Yeah, I knew that. We have some, because they just did in real life. We should try to focus our time, our entire time, on the development of a game. What? I don't get that. Oh, the uh, M box just came out. Woo! It's okay. I'm making a lot of money back on this. That's good. God almighty. That was scary. Um, right. What am I doing next? I have fucking no idea. Find contract work. We're just going to do contract work and get all our money back. Or at least try to. Get some money back. Our time is precious. 22k. Nice. Uh, contract work. That's a lot. I'm not doing that yet. Oh man, these- I'm gonna do the easy ones. The other ones cause a fucking fortune. Or they don't- they don't cost a fortune. They just- they have a lot of time to go into them and a lot of these things. My dudes can barely finish these yokes. 32k. Do the easy ones first. Here we go. When I have a bigger team, I'll do these bigger ones. 43. Oh! Uh, let's try it. Let's try it. I don't think we're gonna get this done. I don't think we're gonna get this done. Try, dudes. Try. Try as you must succeed. There is no success without try. Do it! Do it, do it, bros! Yes! You fucking heroes. You absolute heroes. I made 1.2 million back. I almost made three times what I put into it. That's good. 44k to your account. Okay, nice. I'm a save right now. Okay, I don't know what to do next. This stuff gets on top of you very fast and the time goes down really super quickly. Oh, we're in month one now. I might wait a little bit and then try and make a game for G3. Yeah, let's do that. Right, time for a new game. A new game. I have two genres now. I upgraded to two genres. So the first genre is going to be adventure. Second genre is going to be RPG. Um, PC, RPG and simulation. Ooh, I don't have anything that does well at adventure, do I? No. An adventure RPG. Kind of like Skyrim or something. They always do well on PC. Um, what am I going to call it? Uh, I, I want to kind of parody uh, an Elder Scrolls. Um, oh, God. What, what should I call it? Oh. Um, El Elder Rolls. Uh, Elder Rolls. Um... <laughs> Roof rim. Sky Sky Skyball. <laughs> Skyball. <laughs> Elder Roll Skyball. Uh, uh, PC and I'm gonna do it on my really good engine. Oh, these are costing a lot to make. Pick topic. Ooh. Shit. Du dungeon, I guess. None of the rest really go with it. Oh fuck. Okay, and 2D graphics v3. 3D graphics. There we go. Oh, why did it let me pick a bunch? The last, oh, that was for my engine. Yeah, okay, okay, here we go. Please do well. Oh God, okay, what is needed for this? Gameplay, story and quests, yes. Gameplay and engine. Tony, you're my tech dude, you can do the engine. Juan. You have a lot of design. Actually, I have more design than you do. But design and tech should go into gameplay. And Juan, you go into story and quests. 
There we go! There we go! Nice! Oh, please do well! Oh, gaming gods! Please let me create a game worth awesomeness! Shit! G G3 is about to come up! G3 is gonna come up very, very soon! Did I do bad? AI, not as much as dialogues and... Level design and AI. Okay, dialogues. Jackaboy, you can work on dialogues. Tony, you can work on the AI. And Juan, you can work on the level design. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Doesn't G3 normally come up in like month five? Yes! Yes! Oh, 1.5 million for a large booth. No, medium booth. Medium booth. Here we go. Ah, oh, I might have fucked it up. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a new game. Give interview. Yes. Thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. Oh! Did I not go to G3 yet? Shit! I might have coincided that badly. Uh... Graphic. Sound, kind of. Graphics. World design. Definitely. Jackaboy. World design, go! Tony. Graphics, go! Juan. Sound, go! Okay. 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 Open world, yes! Planet GG has recently published an interview with Butts and stuff. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Jackaboy, owner and CEO of Butts and stuff. That's a title I would fucking love. <laughs> we think that players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take the risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. I'm curious as well. Our hype is going up. Can my hype go up more? Because of G3 or something, please? I'm losing a lot of fucking money very fast. MSC PD- what the fuck is that? Yes, here we go! Here we go! That should create the hype! Maybe it should have been sooner. Ooh. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Abduction and Elder Scrolls- Elder Rolls Sky Bowl is going in here. Close. My hype is at 74 now! Nice! We didn't make it into the top 100 boots. That's fine. We don't need to make it into the top 100 every single time. Our hype reached 74. That's good, right? Strawberry announcement. Vina has today confirmed the discontinuation. Fuck off. Dreamcast, you're old news by now. No one cares. God, I'm still putting stuff. You made another bug? Get rid of that. Fuck off. Making bugs in my game. New records all round. Yes! This is the game that's going to soar us into the heavens. Wait till you see. Professional, reach level 5 with the character. Is that Jack a boy? Someone on your team has reached experience level 5. This unlocks a special training item called Boost. The training for it is expensive and you can only do it once the character has at least 500 design or technology points but the investment is well worth it. Once trained, the Boost allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff and can really help you make a hit game. Due to increase in experience, the following staff have earned a raise. Juan! Now you're- oh god. Specialized training available for Jackaboy. Nice! You go on vacation. First review is coming in. Oh! 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 An eight? That's good! That's good! A seven! Okay! Okay! Another eight! Yes! An eight! Played it for days! Now, well, I'd imagine you play any game for days. You don't just play it for an evening and then forget about it forever. Boss seems. Boss, someone seems to have stolen our credit card information and used to buy a lot of things in the past three months. Unfortunately, we've lost. What? Who fucking did this? It was Juan, wasn't it? He went off on holidays and dropped the fucking credit card. I knew I shouldn't give him more responsibilities than he fucking needed. What a ass bag. Research new topics. Hospital superheroes. Yeah, why not? Um, character progression. Stereo, stereo sound might be worth it. What are, what are we doing? What are you researching? I forget what I just did with you. God, oh, you're generating game report. Okay, wait, how are we selling? Are we selling good? We're selling mighty! Post analysis of Elder Scrolls. Dungeon and adventure RPG is a good combination. Not great, but good. Not bad, but not great. The fucking middle of the road. Artificial intelligence seems to be not important for this type of game. Platform genre match. Great and great. Yes! I fucking knew it. I knew it. I When I did the thing, I knew it. Okay, you need 500. Um, okay. You need to be boosted in research. Actually, no, I think I might boost you in design, research, and speed again. 
Just to get you a bit more balance out. You can be my balance dude and you can be specialized. Uh, train. You are my technology guru. So please, more of the technology dude. Where's technology? There. Start training. Juan, you're back. You can train in the, uh, the, the, uh, the designies of the thingers. There. Yeah. Back up to five million, baby. That's what it's all about. That's how you make the cheese. That's the way the cookie crumbles. <sighs> Feels good, man. Feels good. In two months, the play system will be taken off the market. PlayStation, no! We still have the play system 2, though, in the M box. Might make something for the play system 2 next. Selling absolutely. Selling. Selling. Blockbusters, man! That's awesome! Gangbusters! That's what I meant to say. How much are we selling? What the fuck? Are you supposed to be the GameCube? Nintendo Game Sphere. <laughs> the Okama Game Sphere! The South Park episode. With which it will try to compete with Vonnie's market leading PlayStation 2 and Micronoff's strong alternative, the Mbox, the curious shaped console. It didn't do as well. It has some really niche, classic vintage games now, but at the time it didn't do all that well. So I'm not investing in you. I'm up to 6 million. We saw 3.6 million on the Sky, sky Bowl. Congrats, everybody. You all deserve a raise. I'm only joking. Only I deserve the raise. <laughs> nah, I'm nice to my team. Um, right, so what are we doing now? Maybe we should generate a sequel. Find contract work. We'll do some contract work. There we go. <gasps> that might be a hard one to do. Play system is no longer supported. You released three games on it and earned a total of two million. That's fine. That's whatever. We're doing one in the play system next. Maybe I'll develop a sequel for it. We had something on the play system too, right? The new game sphere has been released. No waste of my time. Putting my efforts into that shit. Develop sequel. What was on the play system? Abduction. Abduction was for the play system too and for everyone. At a 5.25. Okay. Medium game for everyone. Aliens action. Whoa. What does well on the play system too? Action adventure. Pick platform, play system 2, pick game engine, reality engine, and 3D graphics. Okay! I call it game 23, okay. I have a chance to change the game name back at the end. I need to remember that. I can't change it here, right? No. Um, game tutorial, simpler, yeah, okay. Right, what are we making? Aliens action adventure. Gameplay is king, story and quest not too important, engine not so important. Uh, Show, show, show. Oh, show, show. Oh, boy. Whoa! Hype one! It's okay. We don't have- we don't have a G3 coming around this time. Imagine if I had spent the time to put uh, 1.5 million into the booth last time. Oh, I know for next time. I know if I'm releasing a game around then. We're doing really well already. Um... Okay, action adventure, dialogues, not so important. Level design. Level design and a AI, I don't really know which is- Oh, Tony, you do the AI. Jack boy, you do this. And Juan, you do the dialogues. Cool, cool, cool's his niceness. Here we- we're at hype 14, baby! Hype 15! Can you feel the hype? Can you feel the hype tonight? Right, should we make an open world? I don't think you need an open world, but it's a 3D game, so maybe. Um, world design, graphics, graphics are important, world design not so much, and sound. Ooh. Tony, shit, you're overworked already. Crap. Um. There we go, there we go. Sorry, Tony! Oh, he's overworked at the brink. Okay, we might break some fucking records here, people. We might just do it. Rumors spread that Nintendo is working on a new game console. Most of the rumors state that it's not a success or somewhat disappointing game sphere, but it's a new console in the mobile market. The DS! That is a beast of a fucking system. Nintendo's gameling has been leading the mobile market thanks, thanks to numerous updates and a large list of very popular games. Ooh, the DS came along and changed everything, man. It changed everything. And the 3DS came out and changed it all again and everyone was like, what? How are you doing this? Okay, get down those bugs. Here we go. Those are new records. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Um, aliens ate my family. There we go. Boom, baby. New research available. Easter eggs. Okay, you go on vacation. You can't generate game report yet. I'm gonna train you. You can generate game report. What? Oh, okay. We haven't saw. We haven't got reviews in yet. It's not called Game Twenty Three. I changed the name. Outstanding game. Hold the fucking phone. Oh. Oh! Oh! Holy... Holy testicle nuggets! 8.75! That's a spicy meatball! Okay, train. Uh, actually no, research. What can we research? Uh, new topics, character progression, dialogue tree, stereo sound. I might do stereo sound. New topic. Alternate history, hospital, transport. God, these all suck! Maybe I'll do a hospital simulation game. For the 3DS when that comes out, or the DS. Cause that'd be good, it's a swipey pad. HOLY FUCK! You seen these sales, boy? Aliens action adventure is a good combination. Story quest, not very important, yeah I knew that. Uh, great combination. Yeah, boy! And you can research stereo sound. Do I have any new- Ah, oh, I don't have any new bloody things. Engines. Two months CS64, but whatever. Tremendously enjoyed the experience. The computer control entities in this game are so incredibly convincing that I caught myself talking at them at times. A stellar effort by Butts and Stuff, Andrew McNara. Stellar effort! You hear that, everybody? Stellar! J just like that movie that was interstellar, I'm stellar! I'm awesome! Oh, I'm so proud of my team! Maybe I can hire more, hire more people soon! Ooh! Actually, we should be developing a new game because uh, Thingabobbers is coming up. Thingabomalamers is coming up. Okay, what genre are we doing? Um, a strategy simulation game on PC for mature. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, oh! It's gonna be like a ship game, and it's gonna be called, uh, but pirates <laughs> by butts and stuff. It's gonna be on PC, and we're gonna do it in the reality engine. Oh, I'm feeling this one. I am feeling this one. Oh, oh! I feel it in my fingers, and we're going with a large booth. I'm going. I'm. I'm going balls to the wall on this one. I'm- I'm trying my best. I'm gonna see what happens. Engine. Get okay, story and quest, not important. So Juan, you can go into that. Um... Gameplay? Oh, I can assign multiple people to different things. Oh! Gameplay, super important. Jackaboy, you can go on that. And engine... Ooh, and it's gonna be multiplayer this time. I feel like I found my niche. I feel like I found it. Oh, I'm getting tingles. Can you feel the tingles? Feel it, feel it. Touch my hand. Oh, can you feel those tingles? Hi, this is Curtin Gillen from Gamers. I got word that Butts and Stuff is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information? Hell yeah. Many of our readers are curious about the decisions to go into making a game and how companies prioritize development areas. Your new game is Pirate Simulation Strategy Game. Can you tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on AI or story and quests? AI. Definitely AI. Cause why would a- why would a simulation pirate game? Strategy simulation. I'm thinking about a game like... There's a game that came out recently, like last year or something, that was a- A game where you were in ships, and you were like, firing at other ships. It was a multiplayer game. So I, I'm thinking about a game like that. That's what it's going to be. <sighs> nervous. Nervous. In a recent interview, blah blah blah, founder Jackaboy, how different development areas are prioritized. In interview Jackaboy said artificial talent is particular important for such game. Seems blah blah blah, use time most efficiently. Is that good? Our hype is going up, but that hype is just going to go up anyway. We just got word that Game 23 was recently released by Buster Stuff has raked over 500k in sales. Wonder how many more it will sell. Probably not a whole lot more. Dialogues, not important. Juan, you can do that. Level design. AI, very important. Tony, you can do that. Plus, I talked about AI in the thing. I'm going to make a level editor for this, and level design, not as important. Jackaboy can do that. I'm feeling this one. I am feeling this one. 
Come on, G3. Yes. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> this game is so much fun. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. That's not that much. Hype 66. We didn't make it 100 booth. That's fine. I did spend 1.5 million on it, but I have 9 million still. That was a good choice. TES 64 is no longer supported. Grant, I don't care. <laughs> I have one left. Yeah, one stage left. World design, graphics, sound. Sound is important. Graphics, shit. Okay, Jackaboy, you can do. Oh, crap. Crap. Okay, 133% is better than 169. Jackaboy, you can do world design, and Juan, you can do this. Okay. Okay. Some of my guys are not doing too well. Some of them need a holidays. Some of them need a holiders. We're not we're not breaking any sort of records, but our hype is through the freaking rizzity roof. There's a lot of bugs gone into our game though, so fix those, please. Good God. This game is selling insane amounts. There we go. Release. 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 Foot pirates. Here we go. This game might not actually do as well as I thought it was going to. Soundtrack is available. Ooh. That'll be that'll be helpful for like RPG games. First reviews are coming in. Uh-oh. They achieve the great balance between technology and design. Beautiful. Could have been better. Yo, yikes. Falls a bit short. All games you can just take your tongue and lick the rim of my asshole because I do not care what you think. It's about the fans. We have 25 27k fans. They they know what's up. It's selling pretty damn well. 6.9 million in sales. Game 23 did. Nice! Find contract work. Okay, do a contract. There we go. Okay! Well, I'm gonna leave this episode of Game Dev Tycoon here. That was an awesome episode. That's my favorite episode so far, because I felt like I knew what I was doing. I made a new engine, I did all this stuff, and then we sold a shit ton. Those are my most successful games so far. Scores-wise, I can't remember. Maybe my other games did better. I don't know. But... Sales-wise, that was awesome. I'm up to 11 million now. I doubled what I started this episode at. I mean, if you guys want me to come over and develop a game and make you a lot of money, that's fine. I'll do that. In, in this game, but not in real life, because I can't do that. Um, next episode, I'm gonna try and make something for the DS, I think. It just released at the end of this one. So I'm gonna go off and see what works best for that and try and make something for it, because that thing was an absolute monster when it came out, and it still is a monster. The 3DS today is still doing incredibly well. And I can't believe that the original DS came out so long ago. Like, compared to the Mbox and the play system in this, the play system 2, it came out at that time? Jeez! That's insane! Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I face all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Do you, ju you just want an A? Is that all you want? There. Yeah, super job. Just curious. Do you want for tattoo removal? <laughs> hey, come on, asshole. You said, could you do A? Oh, that was a good episode to record. Oh, I'm feeling fresh and funky. Relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We've gained 185 fans. Yeah. Piracy is one of those things that's hard to fight. People are going to do it anyway, but if you play- if you make an extremely good game, then people are less likely- and if you're just nice, people are less likely to pirate it, because they'll want to support the developers and just ma support those guys. 100k engine. Invest over 100k in a new engine. Nice. New game engine, the reality engine, is now complete. I am ready to make some badass fucking games with this. I have no idea what. I'm going to make a big game, and I'm going to use the reality engine. Nice! What are we making, though? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, we're going to make an aliens action game. Do I have aliens? Do I have, yes, aliens for everyone. And it's going to be called, what are we going to call this aliens action game? We made one already and we made a sequel to it. What's well, not that good? But, oh, what are we going to call this? Um, abduction. Ooh, doesn't that just tickle you? An alien action game and we're going to put it on the play system too. 350 grand to get the license for it. I'm down to 3.7 million, but we're gonna make it back! Wait till you see, and it's on the reality engine. Great combo. Thanks, bro! 
for everyone? Yes, here we go. 280k to make it. 340k to make it. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of monitors. But this is gonna be good. Oh, I should have went to G3. Fuck. Um, okay, here we go. Engine, very important. Gameplay, important enough. These things aren't as important for this. Simple cutscenes, yes. Multiplayer, no. Game tutorial has better user experience. Oh, it's gonna fucking bankrupt me. I'm gonna go all out on this and try and see what happens. I'm gonna see if I can make a fantastic game for this shit. Um, you are my design boy. No, you're my tech dude. So tech is engine. I think design would be gameplay and you're just an overall so you can go story and quests. Here we go. You gotta balance them out. Some dudes will do more work than others. Ah, oh, fuck, you are not efficient. I should have sent you on vacation. This is Roland Keen from Smash. I got word that Butts and Stuff is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Ah, oh, of course. What do you expect in your regards to hype game? Be modest. I'm gonna be modest this time. Because last time I hyped it and then it didn't do all that well and then everyone was like, ah, you suck. And I was like, no, I'm a really nice guy. Shit. Tony is not doing all that well. Level design, AI is gonna be important. Level design, whatever. Tony, Tony, you're at 100%, bro. Okay, Jack, you can do that. Tony, you can do dialogues then and you can do level design. The design dude would do level design. No level editor, I don't need one. Oh God, I'm down two million since the start of the episode already. Oh, you better make me my money back. You're all fired. <laughs> I wouldn't fire these dudes. I love Juan, Juan and Tony. Oh, these dudes are not doing well. World design, graphics, yes. Sound, not so much. World design, Juan, you can do the world design. Jack, boy, you do the graphics, can you? Because you have a lot of tech experience. Mono sound, open world. <laughs> I'm not getting great fucking things up here, though. Getting a lot of research. Damn, son. You need to go on vacation fast. I didn't. I should have done that before I started making the game. Damn it all! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. 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 No new records, but that's fine. I don't need to be breaking records with every fucking game release. Uh, dude, you can go on vacation. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> go off and rest. First reviews are coming in. We're doing it, guy. We're doing it. Everyone, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in for a hug. Before we start getting. Results, we need to hug it out and know that it's- we're not gonna blame each other. If this game does poorly, we're not gonna start turning on each other. We're all gonna do well. We're all gonna do it. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, there we go. Yes. Five. Not that good. Not that good. Oh, a five. Oh, a five. Quirky, but good. You're all fired! <laughs> God damn it anyway! Generate game report. 5.25. I mean, it was our first time trying to do a 3D graphics engine game on a very new system. It costs us it costs us half a million to make. What are we even doing with ourselves? Dude, it's fucking selling like hotcakes! Holy banana balls! Making my money back in no time! Ha <laughs> ha! Our post analysis of game looks world design seems to be not very important for this type of game. Did I focus on world design? Can't remember what I focused on. Platform genre match. Action and PlayStation 2 go great. Yeah, I knew that. We have some because they just did in real life. We should try to focus our time, our entire time on the development of a game. What? I don't get that. Oh, the uh, M box just came out. Woo! It's okay, I'm making a lot of money back on this, that's good. God almighty, that was scary. Um, right, what am I doing next? I have fucking no idea. Find contract work. We're just gonna do contract work and get all our money back. Or at least try to. Get some money back. Our time is precious. 22k, nice. Uh, contract work. That's a lot, I'm not doing that yet. Oh man, these, I'm gonna do the easy ones. The other ones cause a fucking fortune. Or they don't, they don't cost a fortune, they just, they have a lot of time to go into them and a lot of these things. My dudes can barely finish the